you to say, well, why is she going up there again? What does it matter to you if she goes up there 20 times a day? That's between her and God. We just say, well, Lord, whatever she did, I'll do it. Let her get it. Let her get it, Lord. Whatever it is she's standing at me, that's at the altar. God, let her get it at the altar. Stop judging each other. Just say, God, whatever she's standing at me, that's what I'm Let it happen, Lord. See, that's part of the number two. We need to stand together as a united flock.
know that they just not so much that you in sin. See, you ain't got to be in sin to hit the altar. You hit the altar sometimes for supernatural strength. Because sometimes you need the altar because the altar is the breaking place. If there's anybody in here that just say, Lord, you know what? I just need an altar experience on this afternoon. I just want to come in your presence, God. Ain't got to be nothing in formality. Just, God, you know what? There's some things that I need for you to do in me that I know I can't do myself. If that's you, as I go to my seat, and I just begin to declare to the people of God, understand who you are. Understand who you are. Be grateful to God for all that he has done for you and all that he will continue to do for you. The Lord cannot bless you if you don't have a spirit of gratitude. You've got to be grateful. If you're living in a shack and it's a one room shack and you got Jesus, you better than somebody living in a mansion without it. The enemy wants you to feel bad because you may not have what so and so has. But God is saying, if you got me, you got all everything that you need. And then, we're praying for sons, we're praying for daughters. We're praying for people that are addicted. We're praying for prostitutes. Yes. We're praying for men and women everywhere. We're praying for the city of Augusta. You know, there's been declared a, a, a murder spirit on the city. But you know what the saints got to do? We got to back that up. That's right. We cannot allow the enemy to come in and take over. God said, I've given you power to tread upon servants. God said, I gave you authority yes. to shake this world upside down. Jesus. So stop walking around here like Pee Wee Herman and be the strong, mighty woman that lives in God's mind. When God comes to you, you know what he's going to say? Did you do what I told you to do? Did you go to the souls that I assigned to you? Everybody has souls that are assigned to them. That's right. Have you switched those that you are assigned to and offered them Christ? 